I met Professor Setu. I met Professor Setu in Edinburgh, and then on my flight to Dubai, and that's where we had a cool discussion. Professor Setu, you are a party in robotics. You are a practitioner and a teacher. Please introduce yourself. Tell us something about what you do and what you have done and what you want to do, and then we'll carry on conversation in context of robotics in India. So first of all, welcome to you, Ravi, to Cochin. So it's a very, very honour to have you in my home. So it's uh, one of my passions to come back and spend some time in India. So I think this is a, it's a great place to spend some time. So welcome here. So yeah, so my name is Setu Vijay Kumar. I'm a professor of robotics at Edinburgh University, and I'm also the co-director of the Alan Turing Institute's AI program. So the Alan Turing Institute is the national centre for UK's uh, data science and um, artificial intelligence. So in a way. I have sort of two caps on. On the one hand, I direct the Edinburgh Centre for Robotics, which is an initiative which puts together world-leading equipment, world-leading training for people, for students, uh, as well as working with local councils to implement or deploy robots. On the other hat I own, the sort of 50% of my time is with the Alan Turing Institute, which is effectively uh, creating a roadmap for UK's you know, next 20 years of how AI and robotics is going to go forward. So we inform the government, we inform number 10 about uh, what are the right strategies, uh, what are the right areas to focus on in terms of which areas which needs more resource, how do we make sure that there is no dearth of the pipeline of the knowledge coming through. So at the moment, we've got huge demand for AI practitioners and roboticists. Um, what we're, going, we're seeing is that in the next five to 10 years, we will have a huge shortfall. So how do we fix that so that we don't have a huge problem later on? So that's my sort of two roles, but really at heart, I am a roboticist and that's what you said. So my passion is on uh, doing the, the, the itty gritty, the getting your hands dirty with the programming, with the software engineering, the programs uh, that we handle with, with one of the flagship projects is with NASA. And that is the, the Johnson Space Center's effort in putting a humanoid robot to Mars. Uh, and one of the things we do as part of our group is uh, play a small part in that big puzzle in terms of creating software algorithms for balancing, for, for full body motion control and motion planning in very complex environments. So that's, that's a short summary of what I do. Cool. On that positive note, any message that you have for engineers who are on the verge, computer science engineers who can, or electrical engineers who are on the verge of doing research versus becoming specialist robotics engineers or AI developers? Mm -hmm. Okay, the one thing I have to say is that I think there is a role for all kinds of people in today's society. Whether they are coders, whether they are you know, designers, whether they are people who come to conceptualize solutions for a whole global system. So it's about finding your niche, not following the crowd in some sense. So you're a good example of that. I think for your person, I, the reason why I found you really interesting when I was talking to you for a brief amount of time is because, I mean, I think you're somebody who broke the norms in terms of what is a traditional career and sort of really followed your passion. So I think that is important. I think that is hugely important because in terms of driving something, it's not enough if you just do something that's 9 to 5, you need to have the passion for, for doing it. And if you are not suited for a particular kind of thing, you can change. Um, and that, that's, it's no point sort of doing something that you don't care about. I mean, I, I enjoy going to work in my case because I'm, I'm excited about the new kind of things that you do. Of course, you need the support of a huge network of people. So in my current role, I mean, I do my amount of actual research I do is actually quite minuscule, but I direct a lot of research with the right team around, with the, my PhD students, my postdocs, and they are the ones who keep me young in my sort of thought process. And I think that's what you need. And so for me, it's about being passionate about what you do. From an engineer's perspective, it's about finding the passion. And, and for the Indian government, I would say it's about helping reduce the red tape on all of these things, giving people the freedom to express themselves and reducing red tape. That will really propel the economy and the research here. Passion and freedom. Absolutely. Thank you, Professor. It's an honor and it's a privilege to do this. And I'm sure every engineer and every person who wants to become an engineer or wants to become anything will benefit from that. Thank you very much. Uh, it's my pleasure. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah.